Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World for part 9 of the Ravenport walkthrough for beginners. So at this point you've pretty well learned the basics. You know how to get your farm up and running. You know what crops to plant. You know what you what you can do with them. You know how to sell them. So you're pretty much ready to go. And at this point I'm going to start talking about optional items and different things that you can do outside of what we've already learned now again these are going to be optional but you can pretty much run your farm as you want to run your farm at this point i will address some other topics in a few more videos but it's not going to be too much longer one that i can touch on right away however is rain now in the rain we can farm to our heart's content with one exception you can't harvest in the rain now in our big field i've got corn all planted up it's ready to harvest if I try to start this harvester however I get this flashing warning do not harvest during rain or hail hang it up forget about it don't do it <laughs> and even if I pull into this field with the harvester running it says nope nope we don't we don't allow such things go away so Keep that in mind. You'll need to plan your farming activities around rain if you get some. However, there are things that we can do. And one thing, or two things actually I want to discuss that you could add to your farming operation if you so choose to add a little bit more difficulty and challenge or realism to your play is weeds and crop destruction. Now, in order to enable weeds and crop destruction, if you remember back from the beginning when we looked at our settings... We have to go into the game settings right here. We've got weeds. I've already turned mine on and I strongly recommend when you turn this on that you save your game and restart it so that the game has the knowledge that you're now playing with weeds. It's the best way to go about it in my opinion. Now we're not going to do crop destruction until later. We're just going to focus on weeds. Now, now that I've got weeds turned on, it's not going to affect my corn field in any way because that field is already ready to harvest. And weeds are not going to affect my other field even though there's nothing in it. In fact, because there's nothing in it, weeds are not going to be an issue over there. However, the minute I bring my cedar over here and start planting, weeds have the opportunity to grow it doesn't seem very fair does it seems like you could take care of weeds and just be done with them but no and you know you can you can blame it on the fact that well I'm planting thousands of seeds here um, I'm sure a few weed seeds got mixed in impossible to have 100% pure amount of seed so what I'm going to do right now, I am going to plant a fresh field of oats. I know I'm going to need more oats for my horses at some point in the future. But all that really matters is that I get a crop in here so I can give weeds the opportunity to grow and show you how to deal with them. So as soon as I've got this uh, field planted and ready to go, I'll get right back with you. Okay, so I have got one lovely field of oats planted in our small field. And again, I am just doing this for example. At this point, I really believe you've got enough knowledge to start running your own farm, doing your own crops, picking your, making your own choices, start earning extra money to do what you want to do, buy more equipment, um, buy more land, which is probably going to be a really good idea. More land means more crops, more crops means more money, and you can keep increasing your operation. But for today, it's all about the weeds. Assuming I can park, which is <laughs> really questionable at the moment. Alright, that'll do for now. So at this point, I'm just going to park up over here. You can see my field is planted, and I am going to stand right here and start advancing time, like so speed up time as fast as I can and I'm gonna wait for some weeds to pop up once they do I'll check back in and as you can see I have got a field full of weeds look at those nasty things 
If I go to our map right now, you can see there is a new option. It shows up as pink under soil composition. And while I'm in here, you can click on any filter you want and it will turn it off, which really helps when you're trying to sort out. Like if I'm, if I'm up here, if I want to figure out, okay, what's this color here? I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks like it might be potatoes. Nope, not potatoes. Oh, it's nothing. That's why. Okay, we'll try this one. Number seven. Looks like it might be oats. Click off oats. Yep, we know that's oats. And then if you want to see where there's grass on the field or on the on the map, you can click on grass and turn on the grass. And that really helps if you want to see if your grass is ready to harvest. And all the grass on Ravenport right now is completely ready to harvest. So just uh, another little tip that you can use um, anytime you want to. But right now, all we care about is our soil composition and the fact that there we go. We have got weeds, and they're showing up as pink right here. So the question now is, well, what are we going to do about it? Well, let me tell you. Now, weeds come in two stages. The young stage, the, the lesser growth stage, which is what we're seeing right now, the first stage of weeds. And in order to deal with those, well, we're going to go to our shop, of course. And we're looking at the category under tools. We're looking for weeders makes sense right a weeder is going to deal with weeds all of these are essentially the same they just have a different horsepower requirement and a greater width so it'll cover more area so with that said what do we need well for a small field like this, all we really need is, is this small, 9 meter wide. And since I'm not going to continue to play with weeds, I'm just going to lease this small one, run up to the store, pick it up, and I will be right back. Alright, so I'm just getting back with our weeder, and it's just like any other piece of equipment really. We're going to line up on our field. This needs to be unfolded, so you do that by hitting the X key. Let that spread itself out. Now what this really is, it's, um, it's a tool that has a bunch of stiff wire tines that are going to dig into the ground. Well, not dig into the ground, but scrape along the ground and pull out any young weeds. Now you can only use this tool in the first growth stage of weeds. Once they reach the second growth stage, well there are other steps that have to be taken. And as you can see as I roll through our field here, the weeder is killing off these weeds. Taking them out, knocking them down, and it's not an issue if they get knocked down and they come back again. No. Or they get up again. No. <laughs> this will take care of the weeds. Now keep in mind, if you don't do this, they're going to grow to stage two and you'll have to do something else. This is the better option because stage two is a little bit more expensive in dealing with the weeds. So keep that in mind. And also keep in mind that if you turn weeds on and you don't deal with them, you are going to take a 20% penalty on your harvest. Yes, they nail you 20%. Now, what I'm going to do at this point, I am going to reset the field, and I am going to advance it up until the point where we've got stage two weeds to deal with. And you can see, you just have to keep going back and forth like so and such. Now, just like any other job cover your field again does it matter if you go in circles no it's inefficient and a little bit silly but as long as you're covering the whole field who cares so let me get this set up and i will show you what stage two weeds look like and how to deal with them i'll be right back okay so i have reset the field just to show you what stage two weeds look like and 
these are them. They look like lovely little wildflowers, don't they? But yeah, anything flowering like this, these are stage two weeds. Now, keep in mind, any weeds that are growing, you have to take care of before your field is ready to harvest. Once it's ready to harvest, you can't do anything about the weeds. You're, they're done. But right now, these weeds can be dealt with. And I will show you how to take care of stage two weeds. So again, if we go to our shop, and we are now looking at crop protection under the tools menu. And we can see a whole bunch of equipment here. These are sprayers. We've got a small one, 21 meters wide. And they just keep getting bigger until you've got these giant pull behind units that, you know, and when you've got really big fields, these are what you want to use. All we need for our tiny field is the little Kuhn. It holds 1300 liters. And this will spray fertilizer as well as herbicide. Now, liquid fertilizer is more expensive than the dry kind, but do what you will. And keep in mind the silo that you buy your seed and fertilizer from that I had you install early on, it is very, very cheap compared to what you buy in the store. And I'll show you that in just a second. But we've got this nice Kuhn sprayer. I'm going to lease that. And then to buy herbicide in the store, you're going to go to the objects menu, this little box looking thing. We go to pallets and you can see right here, 2000 liters of herbicide is $3,200. That's a lot more expensive than what you're paying. And it's the same if you buy the dry fertilizer. If we look at dry fertilizer, 19 almost two thousand dollars for a thousand liters so keep in mind you are getting the bargain basement price when it comes to fertilizer and seed and stuff so the store is going to cost you a lot more now i need a tank of herbicide two thousand liters is going to cost me twenty four hundred dollars and that's what we're going to fill our sprayer with and i have to buy that that is mine forever so again i'm going to run to the store this time I'm going to take the little fence. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to take the little fence so I can carry my herbicide back with me. And I will see you when I get back. Okay, so I have got our sprayer here and I've got my tank of herbicide, which I'm just going to drop off right over here like so. Now all you have to do to fill your fertile or your herbicide sprayer is back up real close to this pallet and you will see in your tools menu the option to refill sprayer. I'm going to hit R and it's going to start filling up with herbicide. Okay, and we have 1,300 liters of herbicide in our sprayer. And come on, we got this now. Again, this needs to be unfolded. So we're going to hit X and this will start automatically unfolding, spread its wings and yell, I'm Batman. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. See, look at how nice widespread that has on it. And now we just pull up edge into our field, hit B, and you can see that spray start coming out. And as we start going down this field, you can see these weeds start turning gray. As we go across, the herbicide is killing them off. Now, they will not disappear, not the way the, the young weeds do. They're going to sit there forever until you harvest the crop, but they are dead, and they now will not affect your crop yield. So weed control is actually pretty easy. It's just something that you have to stay on top of. And in fact, if we look at our map right now, we can see as we go along that pink is disappearing. So those weeds are dying off. So there you have it. That's weed control. Young weeds, you use a weeder. Full grown weeds when they look like flowers, 
Well, you have to use a sprayer. There's no getting around it. The cheaper alternative, I think everybody can figure out at this point, is using the herbicide sprayer. Or, no, 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 no. Everybody can figure it out except for Harv. Uh, the cheaper alternative is to use the weeder because herbicide is expensive. It will cost you additional money. Um, once you buy the weeder, that's it. You just make sure that you get those weeds before they grow into flowers. That's all you got to do. Now, the next thing that we're going to take a look at really quickly, because it's actually pretty basic, is crop destruction. So again, if we go into our menu, our game settings menu, we can automatically turn on crop destruction and it will start taking place. Now you see where I'm driving, how that crop is being destroyed as I come through this field? That's crop destruction. With crop destruction on, if you drive through your field, and I need to get another application of fertilizer on this field, it's only 50% fertilized, but now this area of crop is destroyed and it will not grow back. But there is a way around that if you want to play with crop destruction. Obviously, there has to be, right? Right. So what you have to do is you have to go to your handy dandy toolbox or to a shop or anything else. And we should probably drop off our equipment just so that uh, we get the right thing. I'll drop that right there and see if I can't get this tractor so it's uh, triggering properly. No. Why? Because things have to be difficult sometimes. All right, let me just drop off this. Now the tractor will be uh, taken care of. Yes. Okay, so if we go to our tractor, we customize it. And we start looking at our wheel options, our wheel setup. We get a bunch of different types of wheels. And one of those is narrow, skinny tires, like so. Now, it's going to cost us $1,000 to put these wheels on, but we only have to pay that once. So once we pay for skinny tires, then they're paid for. So if I purchase those, you can see my tractor now has skinny tires on it. And I'll grab my herbicide sprayer one more time because there's a little tiny strip of weeds left in there that still needs to be taken care of. Swing back over here real quick. Start unfolding my tool. Turn it on. And now, with skinny tires, we can drive through this field all we want and we get no crop destruction. So if you want to play with crop destruction, all that means is you need to remember if you need to get back into your field to fertilize it or take care of weeds or whatever, once it has started to grow, once you see crop growing in that field, you have to switch to skinny tires. And I wouldn't assume you can just run skinny tires all the time and not have to switch back and forth because there is a big difference between standard tires, wide tires, skinny tires, you do get traction issues, things like that, so keep that in mind. That's not to say you can't do it, it just means it's probably not the best choice. But with that said, that is how you solve the issue of crop destruction. Throw some skinny tires on your tractor, that's all you gotta do. And with that said, I think that's going to do it for part 9 of the Ravenport walkthrough for beginners. I really, really appreciate everyone who's, set, who's left so many nice comments about this series. I'm glad it's helping people get started. I love the new players. And I'm really, really pleased that they are, uh, are finding this helpful. So again, I appreciate you taking a look at my walkthrough on Ravenport. And until next time, take care.